beautiful sunny spring morning. I'm really fortunate to be here on the Essex Wildlife Trust Reserve Worley Place near Brentwood. It's a glorious day. Let's see what we can go and find. This is the, the wild daffodil, Narcissus pseudo Narcissus. Narcissus is quite a big genus of, of, of plants, mainly found in, in, in Spain, North Africa. But this species grows across much of the British Isles, but it's an uncommon woodland plant. And it flowers around about this sort of time early in spring in the year, sometimes called the Lenten Lily because of its flowering time. But we are noticing as climate changes that it's flowering maybe a couple of weeks earlier than it had done in the past. It's just a pleasure really to be out here in the sun, seeing these lovely flowers waving around. This is the, the snake's head fritillary. It's a member of the lily family, Fritillaria meliagris. Fritillus is the sort of Latin term for a, a dice board, a checkerboard. And you can see this lovely checkerboard pattern of, of colour on here. The variation in the flowers is quite, quite marked, the, the different colours that you can find. They've all got this lovely nodding shape and they flower about Easter time every year. I mean, you tend to, to, to associate fungi with, with the autumn, but you can find them all year round, particularly in spring as it gets warmer, that stimulates some into growth. Most of it is, is actually tucked away out of sight, and the only bit we get to see is the bit which spreads the spores, which creates new fungi elsewhere as they blow away microscopic like dust. I'm not too sure what, what species of, of fungus this is. There are, there are thousands which grow in the British Isles. So what we need to do is to, is to take it away and work out what species this is. This is a glorious thing, isn't it? This is a, this is a camellia. And it's one of the, the, the close relatives of the tea plant. Um, and the tea we drink is made from these little tiny leaf tips of the glossy green evergreen leaves which are picked and obviously brewed. And these are common garden plants which we pick for their, for their glorious colour and flowers but they're not necessarily the best things for the insects and other visitors into our gardens because we've often selected plants which have got these really double flowers. The parts of the flowers have been replaced by lots more petals, so they're great visual impact, but they don't actually provide very much food. But this camellia is just absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's obviously very, very popular with these bees, and understandably, because these lovely tubular flowers of this pulmonaria, lungwort, um, are really good nectar sources. So we've got these white blotches on the leaves, this sort of blotched arrangement, which is why it's known as, as lungwort. It's supposed to look rather like the blotchy sort of patches you get on the inside of your lungs. And they're sort of really lovely in that they open one colour, this sort of brighter, more scarlety pink, and become purple as they, as they age and they're changing colour. I'm really pleased I've found this. It's a, it's a bluebell that's in flower, and it's the first one we've seen flowering today. Lots of the glossy green leaves around of the bluebells, but a long way off flowering. And it's quite important to know when things flower because we can use that as, a, a, as one way of assessing how much the climate is changing, whether the climate's changing. And one thing we're trying to do at the museum is to gather that information and we need your help to do that. So we have an online website where you can go and record where you first see bluebells flowering and when. And that information will tell us an awful lot about climate change, so please help us.
Well, it's been a lovely day and the days are getting longer and warmer and it's just really nice now to get out, see what you can find bursting into life near you. But I think now, as the sun's going down, it's probably really time for me to go home and see what I can find for my tea.